Okay, I'm going to try and make a favicon for my upcoming website, GIMP stock. I'm on GIMP. I'm on GIMP now. Okay, so I've got an image here with background of green. Anything will do. I mean, anything really. Um, image. Scale image. At the moment, I've got it 300 by 300. Um, I'm just going to increase the size a bit. Maybe take it to 400. I'll reduce it once it's done. Just, um, trying to work on it at the moment. So, got a text tool. Okay, so I want it sort of fairly central for what I want to do. There's no flash logo or anything. I just thought I'd give it a um, like a title. I selected that font. C U U I heavy italic. Now let's see. Colour. I want it sort of reddish. Reddish. Let's try that. I'm clicking on OK, got it. When the screen record is on, everything seems to go a bit slower. OK. Now that font looks all right for what I want. But, um, I was after something a bit more central. So that's fine. And it seems to start at a start. So if I bring the font, the text tool, sort of about here, Hmm. Okay. Or maybe again, just a bit lower. If it's going to start there, I want it fairly central. So let's try that. It's always after red. Some sort of reddish. I don't know. Something like that. And I like that font suited it. I'm going to bring it up a bit. All right, let's try that. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I click there and space. Now that's not bad at all. That's pretty much what I'm after, exactly. God, I really like that. Gimpstar really suits the whole thing. That was one of the first fonts I, I tried as well. But, um, really, really suits it. What I'm doing. Just writing that font down. Okay, <clears throat> so that's done. Now, what I'm after, I was going to, was to, was to, where is it? It's on the layer. I was going to delete, remove, I was going to remove alpha channel. No, I wasn't. I was going to create a layer of transparency. Oh dear. I've forgotten how to do that. Transparency. <laughs> oh dear. 
GIMP are not responding. Oh, damn. Sort of a loading error. Sod it. I'm going to have to pause for a minute, I think. Right, I paused there. Had a problem. Um, GIMP froze. Had to reopen it. I think I've done a darker red. Favicon there. Might not matter. Huh. Right, well, there it is. Had to... Had to reopen, bring the image up and do everything again. So there it is, GIMP stock. Hmm. Right, I'm going to try this image scale. I've got to see how this looks at 48 by 48. Gimp start at 48 by 4, that's the size I need for the Fabricom. It's going to be tiny in there. This is where it gets awkward. Because if I make that bigger and wider, it could look squashed in, you see. But we'll try that. Go back to 4. Now, open that width, bring up to 500. Height, yeah, that happens, you see. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try this, okay. text right first of all I'd have to go over that because that's saved sort of like that so let's go over this tool and color picker the green and paint tools paintbrush I'm getting rid of that I wanted to get rid of it anyway, it was a little bit too dark. So now I'm in there. So, text. So, I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Change the colour. That's better, it's a bit lighter. Gimp so click in there. And that is sort of just perfect. Yeah, I like that. Gimp stock. Okay. I'm gonna scale that back, image back down. And scale. Right. That's fine. That is perfect for me. I'm going to file. I'm going to overwrite the favicon. Image exported. Can get rid of that one. I'm going to bring it up again. Open.
and there it is. And the reason I'm bringing it up again is because I want to add a layer of transparency. You can't do that until you reopen it. Transparency. Remove our channel. Add our channel. Hang on. Um, how do you do this again? Color to outfit. No, I can't do it. Had a little look round, but um, there is a 48 by 48 ping favicon now. I'm click away, save the changes. Um, this was saved already, pretty sure. If I open up my file, I can check. And there it is, 48 by 48, red and green alpha, one layer. There it is there. And that will be the favicon that I've made for my new site, Gimp Stock. And that's how you can do it. Just start large and put in what you want. I prefer a kind of just text font, really. And an image. I think that would be perfect for it. Okay. 